This is the biggest coordinated international rescue attempt that's ever been staged in Thailand. There's help here from all over the world. There are some 35 teams of specialists from all over, including three from China. Now, they're bringing expertise about underwater cave exploration, uh, also climbing uh, down into rocks and fissures, trying to find entrances to the cave. Now, progress is being made on all fronts. More and more water is being pumped out of the flooded caves. Divers, uh, principally Thai Navy SEALs, are getting further and further into the cave complex than they've ever got before. And at the same time, teams on the surface uh, are scouring the mountainside and they're trying to find other ways into this cave complex uh, but sadly despite all of this progress of course the boys are still missing and have not been found now the principal focus of this massive operation is to try to reach a huge underground cavern which is known to have a dry area which never floods now that's called Patia Beach named after one of Thailand's most famous tourist beaches Beaches, and it's believed that that's the best chance where the youngsters might be waiting for rescue. But even if they get to Patia Beach and they're not there, that's not the end of hope, that's not the end of the story. Opinions vary on just how huge this underground cave complex is. Some say 10 kilometres, some say as many as 16 kilometres. So if they get to Patia Beach and the boys aren't there, there is still a possibility that they're further into the cave complex in yet one more cave. But one thing is certain, if rescue is to be successful, it has to come soon. Martin Lowe, CGTN at Tamloan Cave in Northern Thailand.